This is amazing. Now we have a new tool called Haystack. This is an open source LLM framework to build production ready applications. We can create question answering system with semantic search. We can do document search. We can use latest models. We can integrate that with different vector stores. It is scalable and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Haystack. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create a RAG application using Haystack. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Coming to Haystack, the first step is to create a virtual environment. Conda create hyphen and Haystack Python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Then Conda activate Haystack. Now we are going to install Haystack AI datasets, Olama Haystack, and Gradio. In this, we are going to integrate Olama running Mistral 7 billion parameter model and then create a user interface using Gradio. So I'm going to install all these packages. Now make sure you have downloaded Olama in your local computer and then run Olama run Mistral to download the Mistral model. Once that is done, you can create a file called app.py and then let's open it. First importing required libraries such as load dataset, document from Haystack, in-memory document store. This is to store our document temporarily. Next, in-memory retriever. This is used to retrieve data from the in-memory document store. Next, prompt builder. This is for building the prompt. Then, Olama generator. This is the one which integrates your Mistral model with Haystack. Next, we are importing pipeline. Now, we are going to load dataset and create documents. So, we are loading seven wonders datasets from Hugging Face. So load dataset using datasets package is easy way to import any CSV file into your Python application. You can even directly download or import any CSV file and assign it to dataset. You could have your own custom dataset which you want to import. So you can modify this line to import that. This is how the seven wonders dataset would look like. It's a CSV file where you can see ID, content, content type, and metadata. The content contains information about seven wonders. So now we are going to create a RAG application, which means we are going to ingest or use this data and ask questions to the large language model Mistral. Next, we are going to create documents using document function. Here, you are passing the data set which you have just loaded into the document function. Next, we are going to initialize document store and write documents. Document store equals in-memory document store. You can integrate any other vector database in this line. In-memory document store is a quick way of testing our application. Next, we're going to write the documents in the document store. Then we're going to initialize the retriever. Retriever is used to retrieve the query from the document store, which you have just created. Next, we're going to define the prompt template. In that, we are providing the context question and requesting the answer. Context will be the data from our data store. Question is the question which we are going to ask. And finally, the large language model will respond with an answer. Next, we are going to initialize the prompt builder by using the prompt builder function. Then we are going to integrate Olama by defining the Olama generator function. You're mentioning the model, the URL where you are hosting your Olama. If you're running your Olama locally, you can use this URL to generate the response. Now we are coming to the main area where you are going to create pipelines. You're going to integrate everything, whatever we created before. So in the pipeline, we are adding components, retriever, prompt builder, LLM, which is Olama. And then we are connecting the retriever with the prompt builder, then the prompt builder with the large language model. This is where the full integration happens. The pipeline makes everything simple when it comes to integration. Finally, we are going to ask a question. What does road statue look like based on the information which we are just provided? And then we are running the pipeline by calling the function dot run. In that we are providing the retriever and the prompt builder. And finally, we are printing out the results. That's it. As a quick summary, we loaded the documents. We indexed the documents and stored in the in-memory document store. Next, we have the retriever to retrieve the information from the document store. Then we define the prompt template and the prompt builder. And finally, we used Olama generator 
to integrate Mistral. These all configuration will be integrated using pipelines. And we are asking question. Now we are going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. And now it's downloading the data files, extracting data files and ranking the retrieved documents. And finally, here is the answer. The Colosseum of Rhodes, also known as Sun Statue, was a massive bronze statue located in Greek island of Rhodes. And it gives more information. This is based on the information which we have just loaded. That's it. As simple as that. Now we have created a RAG application using Haystack. If you want a user interface, you can use Gradio to do that. You might need a slight modification in this. I'm going to change this as ask question function and then creating a tab and finally returning the response. Next, we are going to import Gradio as GR and pass this function into the Gradio interface. GR underscore interface and then function is ask question and we have an input box and output text. Next, gr underscore interface dot launch. That's it. Now we are going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Now I'm going to open this URL and here is the interface. Seems like there's no text box input. We're going to go back to the code and modify this to components dot text box. This is in regards to the latest Gradio update. Now I'm going to run this code again, python app.py and opening that URL. And now we got the interface here. I'm going to ask the same question. What does road statue looks like? And it's talking to Mistral with the context. And here is the response. I'm really excited about this. And I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.